So first off, let me just apologize for making a video on that topic. Not apologizing for the type of video I made, because for those of you guys who've been subscribed to me for a while now, you guys know I speak on things that happen in the fitness industry. I've done it multiple times, and I won't stop. I will always give my opinions on things that happen in the fitness industry. So for those of you guys who don't like me giving my opinions on things that happen in the fitness industry, you are on the wrong channel. But as we're speaking on that specific topic, yes, that's where I know I slipped up and a lot of you guys actually let me know in a nice way. Like a lot of you guys were like, yo, I love you, you're my ninja and everything, but just this video wasn't good. And I knew they were speaking about the topic of the video, not the actual me speaking my opinion on something that happened in the fitness industry. I just didn't really take it in that way, obviously, and a lot of you guys saw that and said, yo, Simon, I understand, like, I know this, you didn't have any ill intentions to try to exploit people's breakups. It was just something that happened in the industry, and I spoke on in YouTube fitness, and I spoke on it. And I spoke on it in a neutral way. I didn't pick any sides. I didn't say one of oh, Christian was, was a dick or a money hungry piece of crap, or I didn't say uh, Nikki Blackletter was just an emotional, attention seeking person. I just said, yo, I feel like they should just go their separate ways and they're just in different spots in their life. But again, I know I should have spoke on that topic. So I thank those of you, those of you guys who actually had my back and said like, Yo, just being real with me, like, yo, I still love you and everything, but this topic was just something you shouldn't have spoke on. And then there was people who were saying, oh, this is old news, this is old news. It was like three days old. Yeah, it was old news when Nikki spoke on it, but a lot of people in the fitness community failed to actually wait for CG's response like I did. I actually waited for CG's response before I responded. Other people responded right when Nikki uploaded her video, which is whack. There's so many fake ass supporters in this community. It's ridiculous. It's so ridiculous. Like these people were supporting CG from last week or two weeks ago. And then all of a sudden when a breakup happens, everybody wants to call CG a money hungry piece of shit. He's fake. All he cares about is money and views and stuff. I'm like, seriously? Really? Seriously? It's like people in this community are just waiting for a YouTuber to fail. Right? And the same thing happened to me on my video. A lot of people who I didn't think would do it actually did it. They pretty much slide dissed me or sneak dissed me as soon as I made a mistake, one mistake. Some people saying, oh, my channel was going down the drain and stuff. Even though my videos have improved and consistently, every, all my videos have pretty much been gym videos. And I made one, one mistake video. And people were saying, oh, this, this channel's already going to garbage, man. I, I, I'm seeing it now, I'm seeing it. Oh my gosh, it's so bad. I'm like, wait, so pretty much like over 10 episodes of power building with calisthenics, making the gains I've, I've made, even though I haven't been in the gym for a good while, I'll explain that a little bit later. After making consistent you know food videos workout videos consistently I mean one video speaking on the wrong topic and people are like oh this channel I'm, I'm, I'm unsubscribing I'm done uh, I, I, I gave I had faith in you but I just can't do it anymore this is it's just not I'm like what so those people please leave I, those are those aren't the supporters supporters that I want on my channel anyway there's some people who were like who were just like slightest in me slightest in my character like yo you're just trying to exploit views you just did it for views and stuff I'm like it would make sense if I did it for views if I just spoke on it instantly when Nikki uploaded her video just so I could get it fresh just fresh but I said no nah, let me wait for CG's part because I want to give a fair a fair opinion on it that's what I did it's just like with when POG broke up now with POG I could understand why that was more acceptable to speak on because that was a business breakup or YouTube breakup not an actual personal relationship breakup which is what I just didn't see until some of you guys pointed out but same with POG I would not speak on it until I heard a lot like I heard both sides of, sto of the story I didn't wait till just uh, Vince spoke and said okay let me just speak my piece and the same shit happened when one person spoke everybody already responded oh Chris is a douchebag Chris is a piece of shit and there's also people saying Vince is a piece of shit Vince is a douchebag and I was in between until I saw some more things that Vince was doing I was kind of and I kind of swayed over to Chris's side but either way I always wait until I hear people's side of the stories but again I said to fight those of you guys who were actually there for me 
and who were just like, yo, Simon, this this was the right topic to speak on. And for those of you guys who were just trying to sneak this in me and ride the wave because, oh, Simon made a mistake. Let's kick him while he's down. Let's kick him while he's down. Try to get likes on our comments. Yeah, those people, I'm not effing with anymore. I'm not blocking them or anything, but I'm just not, I'm not effing with them anymore. I'm not replying to their comments. I'm not, I'm just not effing with them anymore because I treat you guys like actual people. So for, for those of you guys who are actual people to me who, who actually had my back, I respect that. For those of you guys who are actual people to me in my eyes, when you guys comment on my videos regularly, and then all of a sudden I make a mistake and you try to kick me while I'm down, I'm not effing with you anymore. It just doesn't make sense. Like it doesn't make sense. Next, like this video, you're you're sneak dissing me, and as soon as things go back to normal, I, oh I hit the next PR. Oh congratulations, Simon! I'm so happy for you. No, no, that's fake to me. That's straight up fake. Because if some if if someone else did that, like let's say some other YouTuber did that. And and I was a, a supporter. I would not start trying to sneak this in when he made a mistake. I would probably even DM him and be like, "Yo, bro, like, like, yo, that just wasn't a smart video to upload. Just that video right there. Like, everything has been good, but just that one video. Oh, and by the way, I'm not gonna delete that video. I don't want to delete my mistakes. These are something. I, these are things I always like looking back on. Just like just like earlier on in my channel, when I used to get a lot of freaking hate. I used to get a lot of freaking hate, I still didn't delete those videos. You guys can go all the way back. I don't delete videos just because I make mistakes or say things I shouldn't have said. I say, I'll say what I say, mean what I say, and then that's it. That's it, I'll just leave the mistake there or leave the leave the, the backlash. I don't care, I'll leave it. Because that's we're human. For, for those of you guys who act like you haven't made a mistake, then pff, you guys tell me what the secret is for being so perfect, you feel me? So yeah, I'll talk to y'all next time. Stay blessed. And again, the real SOS family, I freaking appreciate you guys. Damn, like, I, I'm actually happy I made this video just so it could expose those fake supporters who act like they actually care about you. But they're just like everybody else. They, they're just waiting for somebody to fall. Just waiting for you to slip up and kick you while you're down. That's a piece of shit move right there. Anyway, stay blessed and I am out of here. Duh.